Hello everyone! In today's video, I will explain you how to plot 3D functions and surfaces in MATLAB using the function fsurf. For example, I will explain you how to plot this function z is equal sinus square of x plus cosinus square of y. This function looks like this. I will explain you how to adjust the parameters of this graph, such as shading, contours, mesh size, dimensions, etc. Furthermore, I will explain you how to define and how to plot a parametric surface. For example, the surface given by the equation 2. This is obviously a helicoid surface and its shape is represented by this graph that you can see over here. As always, I have created a post that nicely summarizes everything that I will explain in this video. A link to this post is given in the description below. Finally, before I explain the MATLAB code, I have to mention the following. If you like this video or this content, please support my channel or subscribe. Thank you very much in advance. Okay. So here's the MATLAB code for plotting the first function, that is for plotting the function 1. This is the final shape. So the code line 4 is used to define the function. This is an inline function. This symbol at means that this function is evaluated at x and y. That is, this part over here is saying the following. This function will be evaluated at x and y, that is, x and y are independent variables. And this is the function, right, sinus square x, the first part and the second part. So the first part and the second part, that you can see over here. Next, we define the bounds. I define the lower bound for x, the upper bound for x, the lower bound for y, and the upper bound for y. I group these bounds in a vector, or in a one-dimensional vector, better to say, and I simply call the function. So let us call this function, and not don't forget to denote the labels, you can do this by these three lines of code. So let's see what happens. There are some warnings here, however we are going to ignore the warnings. Okay, so this is our function, you can use the button over here to rotate the MATLAB plot. You can zoom in if you want to see how it looks inside and you can zoom out. Again, you can rotate, you can move left or right, etc. Okay, now let's say that we don't like the edge colors. We can simply either turn off the edge colors or we can change the shape of the, or actually the color of the edge colors, right? If we evaluate these code lines and if we go to our graphs, aha, uh -huh, we can see the results. There are no edge colors. We can also change the edge colors. We can, for example, select any of the, any of the colors that you like. For example, M is the magenta. Let's see what happens. Aha, uh -huh, now is the magenta. You can use black as B, green as G. Actually, B is not black, B is blue. Here is, here is an error, I will correct this, this is blue. The next property that we can change is the transparency. So this variable over here, face alpha, or this parameter, controls the transparency. So let's see when we have, let's see what happens when we have a completely non-transparent graph. Okay, these are the results. So the graph is completely non-transparent. Well, if I put zero here, then the graph will be completely transparent and we will basically see an empty plot, right? And any variable from zero to one will control the transparency. So if you want transparency of 0 0.5, we are going to adjust this parameter. So let's see what happens. 
Aha, now it's transparent. We can see behind the curves, etc. Okay, we are going to return the transparency parameter to 1. And let's evaluate these lines of code. Let's see what happens. Great, we have a completely non-transparent graph. This is what we want. The next thing that, or the next parameter or the next property that we can change is the contours. So if you want to see the contours over here, how our function looks like in two dimensions, we can even plot that by simply setting the parameter show contours to on. And here you should keep in mind that the function, the original function fsurf returns the structure z output and by adjusting the parameters of this structure we can control many properties of the graph and finally we can control the mesh density by using this parameter over here uh, you will not see a big difference if i increase the mesh density so since the graph is already dense however if i set a low density this is the grid for x and y coordinates you will see aliasing effects right you'll see the aliasing effects so now the density is basically relatively low and you can see that the graph looks like a 3d computer game from 1996 so and we can let's say furthermore change this let's setting let's say density to 2 let's see what happens we will probably not even we will completely see aliased graph let's see what happens Aha, uh -huh. you see, very, very, very uh, rough plot. So nothing happens here, completely aliased. It's one, it's the average value. Okay, and let's return the density, let's say, to 40. The default value of the density is 35. Then we can control the camera light if we want to make our graph to look nicer. Some uh, 3D rendering property. Here it is. Here is our graph. And finally, you can adjust the box. You can add the box if you want. And here is our graph. Okay, so the next step is to explain you how to plot the helicoid surface. So let's go back to our post and let's analyze these equations. So these equations are the equations of helicoid surface. We have two parameters, u and v, and these are independent variables, and we have x, y, and z that are now dependent variables. If you just isolate x and y, and you don't take into account v, this will also be some form of a helicoid, only two dimensions. Now we have the third dimension, it's z is v. Okay, so how to define this function in MATLAB. It's super easy. So we define the x equation, y equation, z equation. We say that this function u times sinus v is evaluated at u and v. That is, this at u and v means that u and v are independent variables. So we define x, y, and z, u sinus v. Let's go back to our code u sinus v, u cosinus v, and 0 0.5 times v is the z equation. We define the bounds for u and v, right? And then with this code line, we can simply evaluate our surface. Again, there are some warning parameters that you can ignore, and here's the default plot. Here's our helicoid function and then the next plot the next task is actually to denote the x y and z axis here they are then let's change the density a little bit play with the edge color and set transparent transparency let's say 0 0.8 to see what will happen here is the result it looks a little bit nicer right and then we can also set the box light and camera light. Okay, so here is our helicoid in three dimensions. 
Okay, so that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like this video and if you find this content useful for your homework, for your projects, please subscribe or support my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day.